Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to start using the Atom Editor and let's just go over it a little bit. Before we do, let's go into the File Manager and let's create a folder for our Dart applications. Let's just call it Dart Apps, okay? And then we'll go into here and then we'll create a new folder again. And let's just call it, because we're starting, just call it Starter, okay? In there, you right click and then you can open a terminal. So for Windows, remember we have to open a terminal. And or of course we can always just go here, click on terminal. It's right behind here. And it's gonna be home Richard Dart Apps Starter. Okay. And what we're gonna do is type stage hand. I'm gonna say yes and crash reports and stuff like that if necessary just to help improve it what stagehand is it's a program do you remember last time <clears throat> we typed in pub global <clears throat> activate stagehand remember that so basically that just installed a program that will help us create the framework for any future applications. These are our choices. Console, we're gonna go with console simple. So it's basically a command line. So it's in the uh, nice and simple. It's not with, it's as opposed to a web application, which we'll go over and do into a different series. So what we're gonna do is while we're in the starter folder, we'll say stage hand console simple. And it basically, it's going to create this right here. We'll close that down. We're going to do a lot of opening and closing, okay? Dart apps, starter, and it creates this program in the starter folder. Two major aspects of a application. Basically, I'm going to, by the way, go into Atom. Here's the Atom editor. We're going to open it up, the folder. Go into Richard Dart apps, starter, and then open. This is all pretty similar to Windows. And then we have a application here under the bin section, main.dart. Okay, this is a little confusing right here. I don't like this because we haven't really gone over that part. Let's make it nice and simple. And we can hit, this is our application. We can hit the run. See that? I think it's a little dark, but there's a run character right there hit it and it will say hello world right here it's going to get a lot of different information right here not all that necessary the information's here you can also right click main.dart and put run application right there also and it'll run the application the same way okay for every it's that simple for every application you need pretty much two things okay so the dart pad we didn't really need to do this but now we need several files we need the bin folder the main.dart and we need pubspec.yaml what pubspec.yaml let's open it up open it with atom we, we, we need a uh oh what just happened here here it is we need a name for the application and that's basically all we absolutely need for pubspec.yaml. What pubspec.yaml is, it is a kind of like a table of contents. It's like a, a framework, a information that tells you a little bit about the application. It gives you the name, the version. We'll get into that in the future when we're talking about web applications. And dependencies. Dependencies, basically, I'll go over that more in the future, but basically, um, if you need like to make a cake and you're going to need water, salt, flour, eggs, you're going to need all those materials. Instead of going to the store, getting one, going to a different store, getting another, going to a different store, getting another, what, what a package manager does is it brings all of these ingredients, so packages, or another term for them would be libraries, brings all this information to the user so that it's been nice and easy. So you don't have to go to one website, download this, another website, download that, and keep going from there, okay? This may sound a little bit confusing because 
um, it, we're, we're going to be, we're, we're doing nice and simple stuff, but in the future we'll be doing a little bit more complicated um, uh, applications and we have to understand that concept that when we have small applications within larger applications we need to import or bring those smaller applications into this bigger application it's the same idea as if you're making flour flour is a food by itself right you could just eat the flour I don't know if you'd want to, but but I guess if you were hungry, right, you you would eat the flour by itself or the egg, right? Um, if if you're you could eat eggs by itself, but you could also use it as an ingredient for something bigger, like a cake. If cake's bigger, well, at least more complicated. I think you get my point. So, um, what PubSpec YAML YAML does is it is a framework for the package manager, the thing that actually manages that controls these dependencies or packages. Um, and it's called pub and we run a, a program called pub get so right click pub get and it gets all these dependencies and it makes the program solid and if you notice it creates a little bit more files right here we had bin and pubspec.yaml now it creates these two separate things packages I think it's gonna be empty because we don't have any packages there's no dependencies right um, I'm sorry if I'm going over this a little bit quickly it's kind of We'll go over it again in the future. If it is if it is not clear, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. We're all learning here, just like everybody else. Okay, um, if you have to use the package manager in the future, you have to use it here. Actually, let me just make a shortcut right here. I'm going to open a terminal right here. You have to use the pub package manager on the command line. I think um, in previous videos, not not this video, but before with Dart, there was a editor called the Dart editor, not the Atom editor, the Dart editor, and where pub and everything, these commands were just a click away. Now we have to go to the command line and actually type in like pub get. We can do that, and we can do different types of pub commands right here. Okay. Finally, um, let me think here. Oh, a couple of things. What's really nice about, again, I mentioned before, Dartpad is really good just for helping us out with simple things, simple um, applications. What's really good is when these programs get a little bit more complicated, it'll really help us out a lot. One really important thing about web applications or applications in general is readability. When you write a program, you want to be able to read it again, right? It's kind of like having really super sloppy handwriting. If you write it down, you can't read it. What good is it, right? So same thing with a program. If you make a great program, but you can't read it, what good is it? Because it gets very confusing. So what we can do is we can right-click on the main.dart, right-click here, and format. And notice it automatically formats this. So get in the habit of doing that on a regular basis. I think there is actually a section here preferences um, if we go down I think it formats automatically wait a minute let's go down the packages dartlang settings I think it automatically does that we scroll down auto indent indent on paste Uh, auto indent. I'm having some problems with my computer. Um, let's just take a look here. Let's try this again. Let's test it out. I'm going to click save all. No, it does not automatically format it. So you're going to have to, every once in a while, format and make it nice and easy. So notice that um, in Dart, especially since we have these, every line ends with a semicolon, it doesn't matter where we put this, right? It will as long as we have the semicolon if we don't have a semicolon right it gives us an error but if we put a semicolon there it doesn't matter if we put it on the same line as long as we format it now again this is not good form that's kind of like having run-on sentences or sentences different paragraphs with having no formatting so you always want to format it for readability in the future um, I think one last thing you will see error type of problems here. 
remove that semicolon and it'll give you a error. If you try to run it, it will give you some other type of errors and it'll give you some hints. Line four, line four, position 14. Eh, you gotta count out 14 positions. And it says semicolon expected. So keep in mind that the purpose of the Dart editor, the Atom editor with a Dart plugin, is to actually help you along the way. It's basically to have an editor, somebody to help you tell you, hey, where are you going wrong with this program? Where are the flaws in your program? It's not perfect, but it's really, really nice. You could type this on it, just a regular piece of paper, but without the computer helping you along the way, wow, it's like doing everything by hand without using a calculator. And if you don't know what a calculator is, wow, that kind of sucks. Okay, so let's move on from here. From now on, I'm going to send you back to some old videos I made. It's called Learn to Program in Dart. Um, look at the link below. I was originally planning was planning on doing all of these all over again to modernize some of these videos, but I got to tell you, it has been extraordinarily difficult for me to do. I just cannot get the motivation to actually do them. So I'm, I'm going to send you to the old videos. They are using the old Dart editor. It's similar enough to the Atom, and I think I've went through things enough that you can um, see the similarities, but actually work with the Atom editor now. If there are problems, if you have questions, if things, I have not gone through them and looked them all over again, um, I just haven't had the time and or the motivation, sorry. Um, but at the same time, if, if you have a comment in the comment section, I'll look at it again. I'll be happy to revise things as necessary. And that will be helpful for the whole Dart community if we can all help each other in that way. And I really appreciate that. So let's do that. I really want to get more into more intermediate type of programming things. And uh, after you go through these, hopefully there'll be some more videos in the future for you for that as well. Thanks.